another episode so on one of my most recent trips here we did a stump jumper showdown size 2 versus size 3 and the size 3 one so today I thought we'll come down we'll just run size 3 stump jumpers uh, we may run a size 2 at some point uh, if we get dusted by a good cod or something like that but we're gonna be running the light gear and the ultra light gear today so on the bank side we're running the size 3 stump jumper in the green, gold, and red. Just hang on a sec, there we go. Green, gold, red, 12 pound leader, PE 0.8 braid, and I've got that on a Stratic 2000, the new FM series, and we've got that on a two to six pound Zodius. And the other rod I've got, we're gonna run a purple stump jumper, something a little bit different, see if uh, purple's a better color. And we've got that uh, 12 pound leader, 10 pound Mo Momoi Luasol, uh, 2500 HG Stratic, the FL series, so the previous outgoing series. And I've just got it on two to five kilo Gamoku Spin series. So we'll see how we go here. And yeah, we'll keep a tally and uh, see which lure does the, uh, the damage today. Now with the cooler weather this week, the water temperature has dropped considerably. Uh, we're looking at about 19 degrees at the moment. Previously we were like sort of low 20s, but 19 degrees, look, that's not cold by any means. Usually I find it's around that 20 to 21. Fish are full of beans and full of fights, so. We'll see how we go here. As is usually the case with trolling at Melton, not a lot happens early in the day. So as you can see here, I'm a little bit bored and I'm just flicking through reels on my phone, just trying to keep myself occupied. I'm very close to my own show, yeah. I think I can help you though. Oh. That's a fish. Oh, wasn't paying attention then. We got one on the ultralight. Just uh, checking out some reels on Facebook and the ultralight's gone off. Oh, big heavy fish. Oh, this is good fun on the ultralight. <laughs> I reckon it's probably a yellow. Oh, we don't want to come up. Don't want to come up. <sighs> nice yellow belly. That's a good size, actually. <laughs> Ooh. That's a cracker. That's a great fish for the ultralight gear. Hell yeah. Oh, he's a solid fish. Might even trouble, have trouble getting him in the net. Might need a lip grip to him, actually. Let's try and lip grip him without losing him, which is uh, always tricky. There we go. Oh, man. That's a big, solid yellow belly for the ultralight gear. Check that out. <laughs> that is a good yellow belly. What a great start to the day. So that is one for the green and gold there. Alrighty, let's get the uh, hooks out of him. Just hooked in the uh, in the noggin here, in the nose. There we go, that's come out real easy. One nil, green and gold. And geez, he's good size. He's gonna be that mid to high 40s, I reckon. So we'll get him back. Let him go back to his home. There we go. Great start to the day. Whoa. Hang on, mate. Hang on. <laughs> Off you go. See you, buddy. So there we go. We are, the score is 1-0, one 1-2, one the green, gold, and red. We're still waiting for a fish on the purple stump jumper, so we'll keep working along here. We might do a couple more passes of this bank and see if we can find a couple more fish. 
Good start to the day. It's always good when you get one nice and early. We've only been fishing for about an hour or so. And uh, yeah, good fish there. There we go. Thought that might have been a bit of a nudge on that. Bringing this one in so I don't uh, tangle it up. I just saw the rod tip just kind of stop and then start to wobble a bit. I thought something might have nudged that, so I've just stopped pedaling. Probably another yellow, I reckon. Yep, another yellow belly. Jeez, he's, uh, he's engulfed that one pretty well. He's got both the uh, trebles in his lower jaw. Just put the rod here for now. Just lip gripping as well. He's not getting away. All those trebles in his gob. I don't want it to lick from the top. There we go. A little bit smaller this time, but it's 2 0 now to the green and gold. And, oh shit. I'm, what I'm thinking actually is, uh, what I'm thinking is, uh, the hitting on the bank side. Where, where I have the one that's closest to the bank. So I'm wondering if I swap them around at some point, I might start getting some more hits on the purple and black, or if they're just gonna want, gonna want to go for the green and gold. So we'll find out shortly, I suppose. I'll probably do a bit of a swap around. There we go, just a little guy this time. It's one of the smaller ones that we typically see here at Melton, but still a legal sized fish and beautiful Australian native. So let's get him back. Off you go, bud. <laughs> two nil, two yellow bellies. So it's green and gold is doing the trick this morning, but like I said, it could be just the fact that it's on the bank side that it's getting hit, so I might swap them around soon. If I get another one on this one, we'll swap them around, we'll put the purple on the bank side, and we'll see if that one's to get hit. So far, so good. Oh, there we go. Dark in colour. Got one. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. There's the yellow belly there. Very dark in colour. This one. It's almost uh, gone black. So it's another one to add to the tally, and it's also on the green, gold, and red. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to throw the purple and black out on the bank side and see if that makes any difference. Because if it does. I would say it's not so much the colour, but it's more how close you're getting down to the territory, uh, which matters more than anything. So we'll get this guy back. All right, off you go, baby. See you later. With a score of three to nothing, the green, gold, and red stump jumper wins today's challenge. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my birthday session out on Melton Reservoir. And if you have, flick us a like, 
chuck a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I just want to say a massive thank you to Terry for delivering me some Macca's breakfast menu while I was out fishing. I'll see you on the next one.